Hello everybody, now it's time to do some repair. This time is, um, yeah, a loose aperture ring in some lights, uh, Sumicron M for the Leica M. It's a 50 millimeter, uh, two aperture max aperture. It's a shame because the le the lens is made in Canada, which is not that good as the German made lens. So, um, but let's have, let's have a look on it. So, the front is okay, <laughs> like a, hmm? and this is a lights um, UV uh, filter and uh, the problem yeah the focus is okay yeah but the aperture not really good because uh, you can see the lens is set to 16 and this is what it looks like but um, when I turn the aperture ring nothing really happened and I can actually turn it further around and nothing really happened doesn't matter which direction so huh, not good okay let's get into it uh, the filter has to be taken off this is uh, yeah Good quality. Uh, if this lens, oh, if the filter sits too tight, I have bought this in a plumber shop. It's a gasket. This is a fifty-six point six millimeter um, in the outer here, but the inner. This is really good f to fit. Actually, on the on the filter and then I could just press a little and then it all, it's off very handy tool now uh, we need to separate the lens the uh, the lens body from the uh, focus system so this part here which contain all the uh, lens element, the aperture and this part here only contain the um, the um, focus system so it's, I mean it's quite simple well, depends on who looks at it um, if, if the um, lens block sits too tight I can use uh, some very sticky gloves uh, which I buy in, um, in a hardware store this is the name um, if you can see it it's very sticky rubber so grab on the um, on the lens here tight and then the front here and just turn it counterclockwise if it's yeah it can but if I don't have those gloves I could use this uh, gasket and just put it in over and um, just press on it because the, the revolver is very sticky so it's easily easy to, um, to <coughs> unscrew sticky rubber is very good for some for many things working with lenses now now it's open and then we can just turn the lens block Here we are. 
So I put this uh, the focus system which is here <coughs> just put it aside no problem with that see there is a, um, a brass ring which needs to come out too it can sometimes sit um, a bit tight this is now then we need to take off this uh, part of the aperture ring and there are three set screws one here here and here so we just uh, fully unscrew them with a magnetic screwdriver they're very tiny so um, take care now then we should actually be possible to move it if you do like this it should be possible to get it off so it is and take care because there is a tiny spring here I mean really tiny okay to get this uh, this ring off I need to take the lock ring off which is here use a pointy tweezer and then gently not press too much and go under it and just uh, press it a little, just little and get it over the the groove here and then go all the way around to um, to have the ring come off so it is Now, then I can just pull the ring and now we can see what the actual problem is. Take care of the ball in here. It's very tiny. You can just move this around so we could actually see what the problem is is Aha. you see there's a tiny screw in here which is has been break off here from the plastic or composite or whatever it is not really a good made lens Um, the spring and the tiny steel ball I could just let it fall on the ground and this is just to uh, show how it actually looks so this is a spring so that's the part of it so this screw has to go into the aperture system and uh, have this 
screw moving the come on we have to move the part so the screws the little screw here actually sit, sits just like this bit more so but the plastic <coughs> which will come into take care of the back lens element not hit anything so we need to go into further into the um, to the lens and take out the aperture well the internal aperture ring which moved the plates by doing that I could use a compass this is an old one which I grind to fit proper in the grooves in the notches here I could do that or I have made another one which is this type which is also grind but a different kind of sharp tip it could also be used here so but um, I really don't like to scratch the front lens so I use a sticky rubber tool this is um, a kind of tool that contains many different diameter to uh, go into uh, different lenses but um, this is a very safe way if the plate is not too tight but this one fits okay here and then I hold here and then just press and then if I'm lucky I can get it unscrewed see this is actually quite easy see the lens is made in Canada hmm not really the best German quality so I just take the name plate off so now then I have to move the the front lens group which I also use this for I just turn this upside down and uh, let it just fall into this and then put it aside see of course I've been into this lens before because I would find out what really is what is really wrong with this so um, it looks like somebody has really damaged the part of it of the plastic which you maybe can see here maybe they have used some glue uh, around here not really that good before I take it out this um, this uh, aperture ring for moving the blades I just put a simple mark here not necessarily a scratch but here and there because then I know where it's when it's uh, at aperture 16 so um, I have no problem getting it back in again then I need to lift out the uh, this ring this is a special made uh, dentist tool which I grind 
so it has a, a little hook as you maybe can see because then I can just uh, go in here and lift it gently and just gently because the blade will fall off if I do it too hard And then just press the blade down a little. See. Now it should be possible to lift it out. Maybe I will can use my tweezer here. So here we have Then I just need to put my lens away, the lens uh, part, which I will um, use this blue gasket. It, it can fit really good here. Handy tool. See, this is uh, oh, this ring is made of plastic. Or a kind of plastic, but you see the hole here. This is not really good. So this little screw. You see it's broken here. So we need to clean this just a little. Wow, it's not really good. The German made lens is not made the same way because it's made of metal, aluminium. But the um, but the uh, Canada made lens is made with plastic because it's cheaper. But I think it's still the same price as the German one. Okay, somebody has tried to fix this problem with some kind of glue hmm. not really good hmm this is not easy It can actually. But you see, we need to put on some. Uh, see, somebody has put on some glue. This is not, not really. And it has just make the, the ring more sticky. Now, I think there was, this will work if I put on some uh, Loctite 243, which is uh, the medium, as you can see, the medium uh, thread lock. So the thing is, I have to um, take out the screw again and clean this uh, ring. I will just use some 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol, which is uh, very good for that kind of task. So
because there are some dirt on this uh, plastic ring. Just to take away the all the small hairs from the cotton butt and the uh, inside here also need a little care. Because everything has to run dry. There's no need to touch the blade. Um, see, there are actually some dirt. I'm very sure this will work. So, now it's time to put this bag in again. And hopefully it will work. I have my mark here. And I also have my mark down here in the lens. See? It falls really nice into the lens here then I just need to um, put the blade in correction correct position I think those, this will work I think it will I think it will work problem now that's it um, then I think I will put the the lens back in again um, and let's see how it goes so and then oh then the nameplate and using my rubber tool to to um, screw in the nameplate So, well, let's hope it will work. Now I put a little drop, I mean, a little drop on this. Uh, maybe I should try put some here in the, um, in one end of the, of my um, dentist tool. Oh, the other one. This is another one. <clears throat> oh, way too much. Hmm. It should only be a tiny drop. 
So, uh, see? And then this uh, screw. I hope it will work. No, no, no. Not yet. Because I need to um, put this ring back in again. So I'll do that. And before I do those, this, uh, I need to um, put on some grease. This is a super loop, uh, which I will put a bit, tiny amount of Uh, grease here somewhere it doesn't really matter but um, it will make the uh, the aperture ring very much easier So I put the aperture ring on, I mean this ring, uh, needs, needs a little more <coughs> because it's, it's actually very much used, not wearing up but a little. I could just put it on the ring. So then put it on. I think it will work very good. Now, a little steel ball and the spring. I will put in. Oh, tiny. So, and the spring also have to go in. I mean, it has to go into the correct place. So that's part of that's part of it. And uh, okay, maybe I should put it in the spring after because then. The um, the spring can come on after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some bloody small screw. Instead of a magnetic screw dial, one can put a little grease, a little amount of grease on, um, so it will works just like glue, kind of. See.
not really the best because this we're not plastic thingy. Well, I can actually move the blades, but uh, so let it just stay. Then I put in the spring. And the aperture itself. So it's uh, actually on aperture 16. Off the frame, sorry for that. I need the, where the set screw has to sit because. Um, So it sits up here. Then I put. <laughs> I need the long ring too. So don't forget that. Not easy. Hmm. I mean, it it is easy to work with, but yeah. Then I will put this ring on. I have my little white dot here and it and the screw the not hole but yeah kind of a mark for the set screw which I have to put directly over and then now it should be possible to put in the screws that uh, hold the aperture ring in place. I'm not that quite sure it will work that much but we hope so and don't tighten those uh, small screws too much because <laughs> they breaks very easy now hope it will work yeah it's a kind of movement, but uh, I'm not very sure it will work very long. So, um, hmm. but maybe it needs some spare part. But I will put the lens back in again in the lens block, and this was just. Uh, Okay, when putting on the lens, this lens block into the focus system, I could just move, use a little, uh, a little amount of um, of thread lock, just a tiny drop. That's it. No need to overdo. And then, then put it. The lens can actually only sit one way. So just just uh, to catch the thread. Click. And then put it on.
and uh, use this rubber thingy. <coughs> so, here we have it almost working. I will let it stay a while so it can dry a little. But uh, that was all for now. So, have fun.